the heck you doing sitting down? Get your butt up and train. Yep. <laughs> slugs and your uh, buck shots and everything else from your shotgun uh, when you have a semi-automatic shotgun or if you have a pump shotgun same way really um, it just operates differently okay well, of course with pump I'll be working this action um, with a semi-auto I work the both okay so very simple not only gonna make this difficult it's gonna be probably the shortest video I've ever done okay let's say that this is full up so this gun is actually ready to go I have a buckshot in my shotgun, and what happens? Sarge says, hey, Turner, I need you to take this guy out. All right, got a hostage, take him out. Okay, Sarge. I'm going to take my slug. Boom. Throw it in here. And since we don't want him to hear us make a lot of noise, we're going to run that one out. run that one back in and we're gonna come up boom the simplest thing that one checks out okay now if you were shooting and you wanted to switch out the one and the two but you don't want to throw it to the ground just like your pump shotgun your pump shotgun you would simply pull it back slowly and put your finger here here to make sure the pump didn't come down too far. Same thing with the bolt. I'm just pulling this thing back enough. Turn it this way. Back enough so that it doesn't unlock the next. Oh, very hard to not unlock the next round. But you pull that one to unlock that next round and drop this one in. And there you go. Okay, I'll keep this one in my hand because I'll shoot this one, boom, run that one out, and I got the next one going. Now, <clears throat> combat loading with a semi-automatic handgun, I mean sorry, semi-automatic shotgun is a lot different because with a combat load on your pump shotgun, you just run it to the rear. With this one, it goes empty and it locks the bolt to the rear. Okay. Once the bolt locks to the rear, I cup the round. Either way you've been taught. Some people are taught this way. Some people are taught this way. Whatever way you were taught, make sure that the brass goes to the back. Throw it into the tube. You don't have to try to fit the 12 gauge round into the tube. Just throw the bad boy in there as long as your brass is to the back and then you press your bolt release button. Once you do that, you should be mounting your shotgun very fast. Boom, hitting it. Okay, now that's about it. Um, a lot of different ways to properly change out your Shotgun load, semi-automatic obviously is, can be some of the harder versions by pulling this back and pulling this out because this one likes to, of course, drop the next one in. But uh, my suggestion, just go with the right type of ammo. <laughs> well, you don't have to switch out anything. But if, if not, make sure you leave one round um, out of the chamber. So if you, load, if you can get seven in here, Load six so you can load up one. 
All right, then you only have one rack to go. Then you'll be empty. Anyhow, guys, that's it. Short commentary, short video. This is Steve. You know I love you. Make sure y'all get out there and win that guy doing fight. How? Practice, man. Okay? And then once you practice, perfect your practice. And then once you have perfected your practice, don't go sit your butt on the guy doing couch. Make sure you get back out there and continue to do what you've always done. Practice. Okay? Shooting is a very diminishing skill. What does that mean? That means that if you don't use it, you will most definitely lose it. Okay? I practice every week. Every week I'm shooting somewhere. You need to be doing the same. Almost every day I'm handling a gun. Okay? For practice. If you're not out there doing that, you're not going to become as good as you want to be. And when it comes time for stress and somebody points that gun in your face, don't believe that you're just going to snap into it and react. No, you're going to freaking freeze up. Okay? Listen to me. I've been there. Okay? Had guns pointed at me. I've been shot at. I've been ran over by a stolen car. A lot of things have happened in my life as an officer. I'm telling you, it will not come to you like you believe it will if you have not practiced. Trust me when I say that. But if you do practice, things will come to you so so clearly so clearly all right i'm steve struck down here in atlanta just having to have a youtube channel i'm no better than you i maybe just practice a little more get out there practice make it work okay have a purpose whatever your purpose is make sure it's good for you and not somebody else you know i love you Y'all make sure y'all win that guy doing a fight. Got anything to say now, Ruby? Oh, you got to back up some. Adios. Ah, you got to come over here. They couldn't see you. Adios. That's it? Not going to tell them anything about the gun safety or anything? Uh, I don't Nothing? Say. Come here real quick. Let me show them that even you can hold this little thing. Her brother couldn't even, uh, let me see your mountain gun. Even her brother couldn't uh, mount my other shotgun. I can't reach it. There you go. Alright. Show them a little YouTube gloves. Put your trigger on them. <laughs> Boom! Y'all dead. All you armchair adventurers out there. Peace out. We love you.